Good afternoon, friends. So the federal government has announced that boosted monthly benefit payments will begin being sent out in 18 U.S. states starting this month. Some Americans may have to pay back stimulus money that they received during the crisis. Remember, friends, that I'm here every single day to share with you the latest news and information in Congress that is related to fourth stimulus checks, seniors, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries. As your daily advocate, I want to help everyone in this community as much as I can. So friends, please make sure to share this video on social media and with your friends and family if they need more honest, stimulus news. The entire state of New Jersey in terms of square miles. It's just stunning, absolutely stunning. And I want to thank you for what you're doing to, uh, to help get the word out about clean energy and the component, one of the significant, the most significant component of my Build Back Better plan. And thank you for coming to, uh, to speak on its behalf. It's about building the clean energy future, and, uh, and we're, uh, we're seeing incredible enthusiasm and support for the effort, not just from you all, but around the country. I mean, there's a real people are, I guess when things got really bad and made people realize, my Lord, this is real. This is real, this climate change. And it's about building that future, that clean energy future. And, uh, and how many major announcements have we seen recently? Ford and GM, for example, uh, building out their electric vehicle production, a total, a total uh, I think, investment of... Alrighty, friends. So let's go over important news about boosted monthly benefit payments that will be going out to eligible Americans this month. So the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, which is also known as SNAP, has existed in some form since 1933. One in seven Americans are now enrolled in the program, making it the largest food help program in our country. SNAP benefits, as well as the distribution of food stamps, often uses electronic benefit transfer or EBT cards. These store the money needed to pay for food, but they cannot be used everywhere. So the Department of Agriculture has set a set of requirements that precludes many businesses from accepting EBT cards. However, there are some big changes to SNAP benefits this year. Extra benefits are about to be sent out to some SNAP recipients in February. So now is the time for Americans to apply for food stamps via their state offices. Merchants are expanding access to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, which will have a big impact on recipients. So back in April of 2021, the United States Department of Agriculture announced that an extra $1 billion per month had been allocated to the program during the crisis while the amount of extra money eligible families may receive generally depends on the family size, is $95 is a minimum that households must be given. Residents must apply for SNAP in the state where they currently reside. Each U.S. state has a different application form and process, but generally, SNAP is limited to people with gross incomes up to 130% of the federal poverty line. Another big change, friends, is that SNAP benefits can also be used for select low-cost restaurants and prepared meals. The Restaurant Meals Program is a new program that covers people with disabilities and people experiencing homelessness. This program is most widely available in California and Arizona, and newer entrants such as Maryland and Illinois are ramping up their operations. So to join restaurant meals, states must first demonstrate to the U.S. Department of Agriculture that some high-need residents are not well served by traditional food benefits. The program then allows members of three target populations, which are adults over the age of 60, people with disabilities, and individuals who are homeless, plus their spouses, to eat at low cost, state certified restaurants which are chains like subway and mcdonald's so friends what are your thoughts on these new changes to snap benefits do you think this assistance will help more during this crisis please leave your thoughts in the comment section below 
Friends, the keyword for this video is Australia. If you would like to enter this coming Friday's Walmart gift card giveaway, please enter this keyword below in the comment section and also any other keyword from any video of mine that you watch. Please click and like my videos and also please verify that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. Now, friends, here is some other breaking news on crisis aid. If you received a letter saying you have to pay back unemployment benefits that you received during the crisis, please do not write a check just yet. According to multiple news sources, some people won't have to pay it back. Workers who are not eligible for traditional unemployment benefits, mostly freelancers, independent contractors, and the self-employed, were able to collect under several new federal crisis relief programs. But as U.S. states implemented the programs, some of the rules changed midstream, and hundreds of thousands of workers were wrongly overpaid, and hundreds of thousands of workers were roughly overpaid thousands of dollars in benefits by no fault of their own. In recent months, at least hundreds of thousands of workers received letters stating that they had to repay those benefits which averaged about $4,400 per person. The Labor Department said that many workers may have been overpaid, but the U.S. Department of Labor just gave new guidance that essentially forgives some of those overpayments, informing states that they could seize collection efforts under certain circumstances. The Labor Department said it is working through the details and will notify workers who are eligible for the overpayment waivers of their next steps. The change in federal guidance came after Asaro Angelo, who's an American labor leader, also serves as chair of the National Association of State Workforce Agencies, sent a letter to congressional leadership asking that the overpayments be forgiven. Under this new guidance, collection efforts can end in cases where workers wrongly answered certain certification questions or were wrongly paid higher weekly amounts based on miscalculations by their state. Well, my good friends, you've come to the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for everyone who has joined me here once again today. I greatly appreciate all of you. So please remember to share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. Thank you so much and have a very blessed Wednesday.